And for most people, Christmas is a day to take it easy, spend time with friends and family, and just hang out around the house. But for a couple hundred volunteers, it's a day to share some food, friendship, and love. Wanya Reese takes you to the 24th annual holiday feast to show you why it's a why its founder, Anita Ponder, and so many others say it's a Christmas tradition that will keep on going. I've been here all my life. I have I have two boys. I have a 12 year old and a, a seven year old. For two years, Shannon Ross has brought her family to Anita Ponders and Friends Christmas Feast at the terminal station. Oh, uh, it keep coming, keep me coming back because I like the people. She, uh, Miss Ponder, she is very nice. She is very sweet, and I like I like the children because I, I work with children. Ross says the event gives her kids free gifts while taking the stress of the holiday season off her shoulders. I really don't have the family support like I supposed to have. My mom deceased, my grandma not here. She got that support today with a free meal, free clothes, and so much more. We uh, provide uh, entertainment for them with this game tr truck and a bouncy house. We don't want them to feel like they're lacking anything. We want this to be a fun time uh, for the young people. Uh, Former Bibb County Council President Anita Ponder has held this free event for 24 years. She says more than 200 volunteers work to make sure everyone feels the Christmas magic. So, uh, we were able to get 702 meals out to uh, McAfee Towers, the Dempsey, uh, uh, Willow Creek, uh, Bineville. They also enjoyed music, free haircuts, and health and wellness checks from Navicent Health. Through the years, they've discovered the giving is contagious. Use this as kind of a way to say, okay, I like this, this makes me feel good, you know, and go out and and, and, and make this part of who you are. I just love the love the event. I love the event to bring my kids. A reminder of the reason for the season, a way to help each other and share a little love, no strings attached. In Macon, Wanye Reese, 13 at WMAZ News. And Ponder says they are already getting ready for next year's Christmas feast.